Welcome back to Diablo 3. I'm Amida. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So, I have finally figured it all out. Alright. It's all set. I've uh, I've done it a couple of times. Uh, I mean, I'm referring to the butcher anyway. I've killed the butcher a couple of times. And uh, sit back, relax, and watch that little montage of me doing so. Alright, so as you see, that was, uh, that was good. Finally. Finally got somewhere. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to get back down to the butcher. And actually kill the butcher with you, considering I have yet to do so. But I gotta show you. Alright, this is why everything has changed for me. Right here. I got this weapon. It dropped. I even sh I showed it in the montage, but it dropped. I picked it up. I opened that, and look at that. 796 damage, right? The bone spare now costs 40 essence and deals 656 percent increased damage. I've also leveled quite a bit as well. That's the other reason why the butcher became so easy. But this bone spare just ripped through everything. It just demolishes. One hit kill there. Yep, I'm still in torment, as you can see up over here. I haven't changed it. I'm just, I don't have any problems now. Now I can just demolish everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, go find the butcher so we can continue. Watch how easy this fight is. Alright. I mean, this is just a, a little show of what the butcher's like now. Yeah. Five million health. Boom. That's it. That's all it takes. It's so nice. This weapon was the game changer. Alright, we made it. Now, I am level 58 at this point. I have leveled quite Wait a bit. I'm a little worried about you know, getting to the end, end acts, considering we're still in Act 1 and I'm at level 58. Anyway. Alright. So, not much has changed as far as defensive gear goes. It's just this one weapon that really made the difference. Having this weapon is what changed everything. As far as skills go, I got this, Bone Spare, uh, Bone Spikes, Bone Spare, Bone Spirit, deal 1% damage for every whatever yard, uh, 1.5 yards from you, up to a maximum of 20, so the further away I am, I guess the more it does for damage. And of course the final stance gives me that little, you know, I can die twice basically. Increased attack speed for Bone Spikes, and uh, as for Bone Spike, I have Blood Spikes, which the enemies bleed and heals me. That's what's nice. The bone spare. Why won't you let... Oh, because we're in a fight. 
Come on. Look how easy that is. Oh, love it now. All right. Uh, Death Nova. Huh? Uh, whatever. Anyway. Bone Spare. Oops. Bone Spare. And... <laughs> You use the health to summon a powerful bone spare, dealing increased damage. As far as revive go, this just popped up. Increases the damage of the revived creatures for each revived. You now use health, that's fine. We'll try that out, but that ain't gonna help me for this fight. The skeletons, I have them on frenzy. Uh, what's this guy doing? Gain cooldown reduction for every enemy curse. Uh, well, I've been using... Uh, where is it? This guy. You know, cursed enemies take increased damage from your minions. However, it's not really helping me now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Increased potential. Slow down reduction. First five seconds. Hmm. I like that. They have a chance to be stunned one hit. I'll go with that now. In the bone armor. Well, let's just clear that out. So, bone armor. And it increases the life per second when I'm hit, considering I want more health. And here we go. Alright. Now I gotta say, this was quick last time. Probably gonna be quick this time. I hope so. This will be the second time I've done it with the, the scythe that I have. Because it just does some damage. Ooh, I'm not pressing the right key here. Let's do this. I need to get up some. There we go. Yeah, your essence is always low. Alright, he's going down, he's going down. He's about half health here. I gotta keep the command on them. We're doing fine here. Oop, I gotta move over here. Alright, I wish I could see just how much damage I'm actually doing to him. But he's almost dead! Oop, ooh, that was close. And not like I couldn't take that hit, I got that final stance thing going. Let's just spam him. Nope, ran out. And he's dead. 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 He said dead. There he is. Alright. Some bracers in there. Once the fire clears. Let's see what that is. The bracers. Might be something good. Hmm. Level 58. Ooh. This might actually be a good item for me. Well, it definitely makes uh, everything go up. More damage, more toughness, more recovery. Sure thing. Alright. Now those are better than the gloves I have because of damage wise. Why is that? Hmm. I gotta set this guy up too. Let me go through all of this and uh, see if there's anything that's helpful for this guy or me. Alright, let's continue. Finally, moving forward. I could have moved forward at level 53, I believe it was, but I was running it a couple more times, you know, just to get some gear, because now I'm realizing that I need to get gear. That would be what's slowing me down here. Now that I'm, I'm over-leveled at this point, the only thing that can stop me is the gear. Alright, let's do it. Wrong button. Why are we failing? No, right click. There you go. Just like that. That's all it takes. Alright. Only one guy left. Alright. 59 it is. Curse ground, huh? He was dying. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I remember all this though. I was an all right. Angel of the high but I seeing as it's a playthrough, we're gonna go I through the dialogue. 
Why not? The only acts I haven't actually seen was uh, Act 5, I uh, believe. Yeah, I got a look. When this game first came out, I, I got it. And I beat it with a barbarian. Level 60 was the max level, and that was it. Yep. So. The priests of Rathma feared this would come to pass. Do they? We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram. And Let's go to Tristram then. Boop. He's quick. All right. And we got Terio. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. Well, How will we find him. We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Well then. There is time enough for that. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. I'm ready. See to Kane as we depart. Alright, let's uh let's sell all this stuff. On my latest dig. You should take a look. Actually, I think what I'm supposed to be doing Farewell. is not selling that, huh? If I remember right, I'm supposed to be salvaging. Yeah. I believe that's what I'm supposed to be doing with all of that stuff. Not selling it. Uh, My friend, yeah. Shall we depart to oh, it's too late now. You know, I gotta just remember to start doing that from here on out. Oh, we get a little video. Alright, what's our video about? I don't remember the videos very well. Oh, this is where we're laying Deckard Cain to rest, huh? It was all just stories. Mm hmm. My uncle saw what he wanted to see. Of course he did. sacrificed much to protect this world. But his work is not over. What would you know about the sacrifice? Sure. Imperial. The ancient law of the High Heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperial. I like how we don't see his face. Justice. While you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! All right. You will now answer for your transgressions. There we go. Nice angel fight. <laughs> you cannot judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. Sure, we were. Protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Sacrilege. Yeah. All right. It's a long, long video. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like these videos. I tend to zone out and start watching them. It's kind of what I just did there. Thus, I fell willingly. Because humanity. All right. Is the only hope for this world. Yet he still has his powers. At least, some of it. Now, now Deckard Kane, he's been around for a while. Alright. Continue, we are finally going to Act 2. Mm. 
All right, let's do it. I honestly do not remember Act 2. I probably remember it as I start going through it. But I can't think of it at all. Yep. Act 2. More books. I must leave Tristram behind. It's a long video. The greater evil lurks within Chaldeum. Chaldeum, huh? That's where we're headed. The Lord of Lies is hiding there. Somewhere within right. the great city. Well. Here we have it. Let's check this place out. The hidden camp in Chaldeum. Checkpoint. We got a waypoint I can't click on for some reason. He's a merchant. I can't believe what people throw away. Alright, yeah, them. you have nothing that's going to help me. By the way, that's how it started. Alright. I was going through the merchants in the area and I was who are you? Enter the training with the best of them. What'd I do? <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what I did, but I didn't mean to do it. Um, hmm. Is that all this thing is? Your follower has returned. Where am I? What am I doing? Why did I... Why, why I come here? I don't even know what the training grounds is. Am I supposed to fight something? Nothing's here. Okay, is this get out of it? Because yes, it did. I don't know what that is. Alright, I need my Templar back. What shall we fight today? Alright. Yeah. What do you got over here? Oh, you're the crafter. So I haven't really got into it. This will be something I'll do another time. I'm not going to... We have to upgrade them. Nope, same with him. Like, uh, it says increase the max level of crafting items from 25 to 30. 30 to 35. 34 to... 30. Boop, boop, how far do we go? Alright, that's as far as we can go. Because I need... Death Breath, huh? Found on the most challenging monsters used by artisans to craft and modify items. Okay. So that must have unlocked a whole new thing. Yeah. Yep. Now, I've never even looked into it too much. Where, where's the, like, the sights? Because it probably isn't going to... Actually, what do you use as a weapon? I got a dagger on him. He's, he's a one-handed guy. No? Alright. If you're a one-handed person, maybe you'd want like a sword or a mace. A mace could work, right? That thing's not, it's not that good, you know, plus five random properties. It's really not all that good. Hmm. Again, let me go, where are they? Right here, right? Oh, nope. That's source site right there. Yeah, see, that's really not that good. This, uh, the weapon I have only has a 5% damage increase. I mean, hmm. Anyway, that's another day. Get into that stuff. But, that's it for this. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more merchant to check out. There ain't no I sell things for what do you got? Because I will just take them off your body again when you are dead. No hmm. offense. I'm not using any of that stuff, so that's not going to help me at all. Uh, see, that's slightly better for damage. If I go solely on damage, it's... Yeah. Trinkets. Wow, it gives me a lot more recovery. Ooh, look at that. 102% more recovery. That's crazy. Anyway. Yep, that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. We are now in Act 2. The Butcher has not defeated us this time. And we are able to continue on the next one. Later.